Sorry, Which formula are you on? So I gave her just Infamil, and yeah. she's literally only had like two eight ounce bottles of it. Okay, total. so she hasn't had much. So this problem started before the Infamil. Yeah, it did. Okay. And it, but it, but with having to supplement, because my, with right. I got sick with all of that too. Right. But my milk supply was going low. But the infrequent stooling started before. Started before. Why yeah. you were still exclusively nursing? Yes. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. I don't know if it makes you feel better or worse. Well, okay. we just have to. I'm going to look at her bottom. Yeah. I'm going to make sure her anus looks normal. Yeah. I'm going to look at her back and make sure it looks normal. I'm I'm going to not necessarily put my finger in her bottom. I might, but I doubt it because you won't like it and she won't like it. No, my fingers you know, are big. Had, if I, I do, I'll put my little one in. I, but I don't think she's got impaction. I'm going to feel her tummy carefully. And I'm going to tell you that she's gaining weight well and things are okay, I think. I think that's what I'm going to tell you, but I don't know that. I mean, you know how stories are. Yeah. You hear a story that should help you make the diagnosis. I'm hearing a story that would suggest to me the baby's fine. So, okay. now, how how good is that going to make you that's feel? Really how good is it going to make the baby feel? Do, do, do you make them yes nervous? No do they make you nervous? You know what I mean? Sometimes you would be perfectly fine. And then this is for my daughter. This is for my daughter. This is all in front of me. Even when I am dealing with her, like it's easier for me than other people because I can actually nurse her. I give I put her glycerin. I do a warm bath. I do things that's correct. So, Kaboomer, she already got, you've got everything, right? Yep. I'll be putting it in now. I'll take the papers on. Look, you're you're the door. Like, trying to get the RSV, during that period of time, I mean, I suspect she didn't eat it well. Now, she caught up on her weight, we'll see what no, she weighs. But, yeah, but she, she probably uh, didn't gain weight quite as well did. during that period of time. But yeah. she might have already And she would up. gag a lot on her own mucus and spit some of it up. Right. But I just basically, I mean, I literally... Like stopped working. Yeah. I canceled my board. No, I look. Like I stayed home when I was supposed to go to Texas to take boards just to like nurse her all the time. We we kept Tommy one night and uh, and my kids were both sick with it. Uh, and they both spent the night at our house. Yeah. And my wife held Tommy all night in a yeah. chair sleeping upright. Yeah. I mean so, RSD is not a fun illness. It's a very hard illness. And we <laughs> and I was like literally sleeping like I had her on me upright next to a vaporizer, you know, right. no no real sleep for days. January is not a missed month. I do not have fun in January. Yeah. Well, um, as I say, we'll look at her growth numbers in a minute when she puts them in. And we'll look at all that. All right, well, that so was, backwards was on the curve. What's that? She was up because she was a, like uh, not quite 12 yeah. uh, pounds before. Oh, well, I'm sure weight is good and probably, as I say, probably caught up even completely, but we'll see. All right, so you're nursing and you're giving uh, Empamil. Is it possible that a different formula, the stool would be any better or softer? Again, you've, you, we've sort of decided that maybe this started even before you it were did. bottle right. feeding, so I'm not did. sure it's going to matter too much. She's currently going to get two bottles a day going forward. Is that likely or what is the likely? So um, if I have her, like if I yeah, exclusively breastfeed, yeah. I don't have to supplement. Yeah, okay. It's the having to pump and yeah. I don't make as much. Right. And then so. Well, you know, now it may not be able to pump as much. I, I don't pump as much. much. And yeah. I, don't, I can't and get to it. You have an electric pump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have all of chances are you don't get to it. You get busy. You know. Even when I do, it's yeah. lower output. It's That's fine. probably 70% output. But in the end, she's getting on most days during the week, she gets a couple have the of six ounce her, bottles. I have, no, oh, yeah. she's doing three ounces at a time. Okay, a couple so. three ounce bottles. So, so, so she, I think I have a six ounces a day. One. So basically, two of breast milk yeah. mix, one of liquid formula. That's fine. And she does not consume more than, she's had a couple of times she's on a four ounce bottle, but All right. she's not doing any more than that. And her stool is every third day or something like that, or four days, or every three to five days, something yeah. to say like that. But they're liquidy, yeah. generally. Yeah, right. it's not hard. Okay. Right. I mean, I was even considering, like, is this a dairy issue? Like, is it too mucusy? Is it, you know, you start to... Well, there are like babies, in terms of the mucus and discomfort, I mean, there are babies who have protein-sensitive problems. I don't know if you've read much about that. Yes. Yeah, right. And so, uh, and there can be blood. There isn't. Okay, but th those are protein issues. They're not allergies. They're sensitivity. Yeah. They tend to outgrow it. They grow well. We don't worry too much about it. And, you know, again, her, just to look at her, you know, is beguiling. This is her height curve. Now, heights are not as accurate as weights, but you can see it's steady. Yeah. Right in the middle of the curve. It's, it's I wouldn't, my eyes are bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't put much, I wouldn't think that any of them are necessarily accurate. 
And there's weights. She's always been 50th today, just slightly below 50th. Yeah. Nothing much. 